there Facebook it is Vanessa here again your motivational speaker trainer and head coach from live love give and today I have a message for all of you guys out there who may be currently having a bit of a struggle having a bit of a challenge in your life and I really want to make sure that you absolutely get today's message um, which is ultimately that you are not alone in your struggles and the reason why I wanted to bring this special message to you guys is because I um, you know the, the work that I do puts me in a pretty amazing vantage point um, to be able to connect with people from across the globe from all walks of life from all ages demographics all of it different cultures religions all of that stuff and it allows me to see um, a, you know something that a lot of us don't get to see in our everyday lives and what that really is is the fact that we are all struggling with the same issues and what keeps us limited and small is that ultimately we think that we are alone we think that there's something wrong with us you know we think that we're a failure we think that you know that like we're the only one and nobody else has this problem nobody else struggles and so therefore we must be broken therefore we need to be fixed but on at the same time therefore we better not tell anybody and we better not share this and we better pretend like everything is just fine when it's not and this is probably our number one limitation I believe is believing that we're the only person with the challenges and the struggles that we have because it creates separation it doesn't it creates shame we don't want to express therefore we can't move forward we can't find the answers and we have this mentality that we are broken as we are and therefore there's nothing we can do about moving forward we can't grow there's something wrong and we don't know how to move forward from that place and why what I really want each and every one of us to understand and this was absolutely solidified for me um, at my very first ever Tony Robbins event where um, he works with a psychologist uh, by the name of Chloe Mendanis um, and what they had discovered was that every single human being walking the face of the planet no matter where you come from in the world um, no matter where you've you know how you've been brought up we are all driven by these two deepest fears number one that we are not good enough in some way shape or form you know we're not smart enough we're not pretty enough we're not um, intelligent enough whatever it is there's something not enough about us we have that fear that drives us and secondly uh, what's really underneath that one is that we won't be loved so this is those it's what drives all the surface level fears that we all have like rejection and abandonment and um, you know fear of failure fear of success um, perfectionism all of those different um, surface level fears are ultimately driven by those deepest fears that we're not good enough in some way and therefore we won't be loved and when we actually get that and understand that our subjective struggles and challenges are driven by an objective fear a deepest fear that we absolutely all share not being good enough in some way and um, and definitely that therefore we won't be loved and if you think about love for the human race human love is our survival think about a baby who cannot fend for itself it relies on other human beings to love it enough to look after all of its needs right and so this is innate it's biological it is something that we are all driven by the fear that if we are not loved we will die you know so it is absolutely driving our behavior but what happens is and and another beautiful reason why I wanted to deliver this message to you guys today is because I was having this exact conversation with a beautiful client of mine um, and she you know I was really bringing this to the forefront in terms of actually she'd been listening to my Facebook live that I did yesterday and then we had our coaching session and she said wow I thought you were talking to me about that and um, because it was you know something that she was kind of faced with and struggling with and um, and I said yeah you know um, I have been talking to you about that but that 
you weren't, you know, the, the reason why I delivered that message. It's because I'm speaking to this, this and this person over here who are absolutely struggling with the same issues and challenges. And what happens is they didn't know either that other people struggle really with what they were going through. And that is why it is number one, so valuable that if you are somebody who has had a struggle and you've overcome the challenge, that it is really important. It's kind of like your obligation to share your experience with others. That you don't have to share them on the whole world scale. You know, you don't have to bust out a Facebook life and live and tell your whole story or become a motivational speaker so that you can do deliver your message, you might be able to just share that with people closest to you. You know, start opening up, start taking down the walls of shame and separation and share your journey. It is super helpful. You do not know who is currently struggling with something that they can't communicate because they feel different to everybody else. They feel limited. They feel like something is wrong and they're broken. And you sharing from a place of courageous vulnerability is what makes all the difference for somebody to break through. And on the flip side of that, if you are somebody who is currently struggling with something that you're not communicating uh, with to about, you know, you're not communicating about to anybody, you know, because you're fearful that there's something wrong with you and that you're different. I really, really could not encourage you more to find somebody in your life, either a person that's close to you or somebody who's a mutual third party to any sort of circumstance that you're in right now, somebody that you can trust, you know, get a Go to a psychologist or a coach or somebody that you, you already have in your life that you trust and share your experience with them. Guaranteed, you will definitely negate. You'll go on that journey of negating the shame and the separation that is getting you to feeling the way that you are. Get out of pretense, start owning your experience, and you will find that there are so many other human beings who are absolutely struggling with the same things that you're currently struggling with or have struggled with the exact same challenges, maybe in their own subjective way, but being driven by the same objective forces of those deepest fears. And when you can understand that you can focus on our similarities and how your struggles and challenges are universal across the human race because we're all living the human experience, then you can actually believe in yourself. You can see, hey, people have actually overcome this before. Hey, a lot of people struggle with the same things. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm a human being and I'm going to do something about it, you know, because when we keep separated and we, you know, when we, when we feel shameful about our struggles and challenges, all that does is serve to reinforce our two deepest needs, uh, sorry, deepest fears that we aren't good enough because there's something wrong with us that needs fixing and we're completely broken. And if we tell anybody about it, we won't be loved, right? So we completely trap ourselves, imprison ourselves in our deepest fears when we do not communicate com communicate about what our struggles and challenges are with people that we trust. You know, I'm not saying tell the whole world. I'm saying find somebody that you can communicate about on this level and particularly somebody who you know has had some sort of experience in terms of having their own struggles and moving through or somebody who works with a lot of other people who can help give you a new perspective that is empowering, that will allow you to see how similar we all are, how broken you are not, and definitely empower you to believe in yourself and move forward as opposed to getting stuck in your own challenges and struggles and limitations and feeling like there's no way out. Um, and on that note, I really just feel called to also mention that on the flip side of not sharing about your struggles and pretending that, that you know, that everything's perfect and fine and, you, you know, but there's this, all this stuff going on in the inside that's causing that separation and, um, and definitely depression, um, that on the flip side, you know, there's some people in this world also that go the opposite end of the spectrum and they're constantly communicating and engaging and connecting through their challenges and problems that also serve to separate them from moving forward and empowering them to break through. Because as Tony Robbins would say, uh, the number one addiction in this world is problems, right? So we need to be mindful of that as well. We need to shift ourselves to a 
an absolutely empowered state of being and uh, and definitely um, move forward from that place. So I am hoping that today's message is resonating with a bunch of you beautiful human beings out there who may have been trapped in that mentality of I'm too shameful to admit my struggles, my challenges, what I'm dealing with. And, um, and it's because I feel like there's something wrong with me, you know, and I, I think that everybody else seems to have it together and they can move through it. But what's wrong with me? You know, what needs to be fixed? How am I broken? You know, that's such a disempowering place to be. And I really, 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 really encourage you um, to reach out to somebody who you can share what your current challenge and struggle is with. Um, and get a new perspective. Have the courage to get vulnerable with somebody that you can trust. And, um, and on that note, if you do not have somebody in your life like that, um, that is one of the reasons why I open up these 15-minute uh, power sessions that you can jump on. It's all for free. I just want to get to connect with you and hopefully give you a space where you can communicate about what you've been scared about, too scared to communicate about, a challenge that I can help you get a new perspective on that will empower you to take action, get out of the struggle, get out of the challenge and into an empowered state. State where you're moving forward to a life filled with fulfillment and um, the life you're really meant to be living as opposed to this life of pretense and struggle in you know behind closed doors so definitely book in one of those free times that I have available for you guys if that's of interest to you and also a big part of it is community you know and that is a number one reason why I wanted to create the Limitless Potential Inner Circle Facebook community which is absolutely growing each and every day we're edging up to 4,000 incredible human beings from across the globe who are absolutely sharing courageously and, vulner and, and vulnerably you know their truth their struggle their challenges, their wins, you know, and they are absolutely wanting to create a safe zone for you to do the same because we oftentimes don't have that community in our physical lives. It's such a beautiful world out there in this Facebook community from, you know, everybody of so many different countries. It's so beautiful to be a part of and, um, and community is so empowering, particularly if you're surrounded by people who want to grow and get to the next level and they're all about growth and contribution. Wow. You know, that is the place to be. So if that is of interest to you and you're not currently part of the Limitless Potential Inner Circle Facebook community, definitely click on the link above, request to join, and I shall definitely appreciate approve you into that community. So I definitely want to check in with you guys now and see who's been able to join me. Um, and um, if you have any questions or comments on this topic, I'd love to hear from you. So I have got Angel and Lisa and another Lisa and Aaron and Sam and Jody and Stephen and Justin and Jessica's here and Judy and Andre and Emmanuel and Man Manuel. And uh, Wayne and Sam, I love the way you're international and I embrace all cultures. Absolutely. You know, I love, love, love. I think that, that I'm, I'm super grateful that I get to connect with so many different cultures because I love learning about different people, about why they do what they do, why they believe the things that they believe. You know, it is absolutely fascinating to me to dive into the minds of a vast variety of different people. I love it. I love what I do. It's so energizing. And I love that that resonates with you, Sam. And uh, Alex is here and Alona and Dominique and Lynette and Madeline. And uh, Dominique, yes, I love that you're catching me live. That's awesome. And Madeline, um, yes, from Stockholm. I love that. And Sam, you gave me a deeper perspective of what it means not good enough. Absolutely, I'm glad to hear that, Sam. You know, that every single one of us, you know, walk in the face of the planet. Doesn't matter where you are, um, how high up you are, you know, whatever it is, we're all struggling with those deeper spheres. But as we grow and develop, we learn what they are. You know, perspective, self-awareness, being able to put language to those fearful parts of ourselves, empowers us you know and so we don't have to let those things dictate and determine the course of our lives 
when we're aware of them. But we can also have more compassion and consciousness for ourselves and also for other people because, you know, no matter where they're from, they're all dealing with not feeling good enough in some way, shape or form um, and therefore that they won't be loved. You know, we're all driven by needing that love. We want love. That's the purpose of life is to love fully and allow ourselves to be loved fully. But we let these fears and limitations get in our way um, and, and ultimately, when we have that consciousness, we can break free of that and empower ourselves. So I love that that some um, helped you with a new perspective there, Sam. That's awesome to hear. And uh, Nadia's here and John and Ty, awesome to see you. And Sam, sharing my experience helped me to open up and face my fears head on. This was the beginning of my healing and gaining confidence. Ah, I love hearing that, Sam. That's so, so awesome. And absolutely, I am always talking to people about, you know, stop hiding away um, from your fears follow your fears, face them head on, like you say there, Sam, because there is so much value in breaking through our fears and acknowledging what they are rather than running away from them because we don't want to acknowledge them because we think what you focus on, you get, but it's different when you follow your fears for the purpose of acknowledging what they are, building higher levels of self-awareness and becoming your own empowerment coach by turning them around and absolutely changing your beliefs belief system, which you can't do unless you identify what your current belief system and fears are. So I love that, Sam. I'd love to hear more about your journey. It sounds awesome. And Jed's here and Elliot and Crystal and Aaron. Awesome to see you guys. And Klaus from South America. I love that. And Jolene and Madeline. Loved your message. Get me flashback from Master University. Ah. Oh, flashing you back to Mastery University and Date with Destiny. I love that, Madeline. Yes, that's one of the most powerful lessons I think that are taught throughout all of Tony Robbins' work is definitely those two deepest fears that are driving the human race. You know, that is what can con connect us to understand that we're not alone, that it's not just, we're not alone in our own struggles, you know. We don't have to be. We can understand that we're all no matter our own subjective experience, it is being driven by those, you know, universal fears that we all hold that play out in different ways, different unique ways for us. Um, but we're not all that unique, you know, and when we can recognize that, we can recognize that we are not broken. We are struggling with something that is part of the human experience and that there's a multitude of other people out there who can help us and support us to fast track our success and not stay stuck and limited, but move into an empowered state of being. So I love that, Madeline. And uh, to here. Um, and Alexandria, always happy. And uh, Elliot, great seeing you as always. And likewise, Elliot. And uh, Aaron, yeah, how's the arm? Yeah, I've taken the um, the brace off. Thanks for asking. I'm going to go see a doctor today, actually, because um, it's sort of like not really great, you know. And uh, I keep kind of using it a little bit, which is not good. But um, I need to write. It's my right hand. So... Um, I'm going to go see the doctor today and, um, hopefully it's nothing, it's, it's just needs a, a bit more time to recover, but thank you for asking Aaron. Appreciate you. And, uh, Sorindo, uh, thank you for those kind compliments and Hassan's here and Anita, lots and lots of love to you from Nepal. Awesome. That's my granny's actual favorite place that she's ever been to in the world and place that I'd love to get to. Um, and Bruno's here and Jeannie. Um, good morning, Vanessa. Thank you for these lives. At a t at time, I feel like you're speaking about me, not to me. I love that. Yeah, I and I get that from um, a lot of my coaching clients. It's always really fascinating and interesting that I get on a call with them and they're like, that live, I was going to ask you a question about this and you just spoke about it. Are you like in my mind or something? So I so love when we resonate like that. And um, thank you, Jeannie. I love that. Um, I love that we're being like-minded there. And uh, Bobby's here, and Alex, and Ron, and Bradley, and Hazem, and Corinda. Long time no see. Well, it's good to have you back, Corinda. And uh, Madeline, oh, thank you so much for your kind words there. I so appreciate them. And uh, and Joe's here, and Hazam, Hazem, love much much love to you. And uh, and Corinda, why are you not using Believe TV? 
good question. I don't know what that is, but if maybe it's something I'm missing. And um, if it helps me to get this message to more people, then I'd absolutely, I should look into that. Thank you for the suggestion there, Corinda. And, um, and on that note, guys, um, I oftentimes get messages from you guys or comments asking if you can share my stuff. Please, that is the greatest gift that you could ever give to me is to share anything that you find valuable and um, that you think that other people will find valuable too. You know, my purpose is to expand my reach in terms of who I can help and support in any way possible. So I absolutely rely on you guys to share anything that you find valuable. That is absolutely the greatest gift that you can give to me. So I so appreciate that and uh, to hear, good to see you. And uh, Corinda, I will look into those two things that you've suggested. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. And as always, guys, I am sending you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I hope it's beautiful and amazing. I've got a super busy day um, at going off and seeing some family and, and um, definitely getting to the doctors and checking this arm out and see what I can do about my hand. Ah killing me. Um, but I will definitely see you guys tomorrow and I cannot wait. So I'm sending you all of my love and I will see you all then.